Welcome to Longevity Codes with your host, Fred Herbert. This podcast is about living a longer, healthier, and more active life. Each week, Fred shares strategies from experts about not only living longer, but helping us discover our personal longevity codes to live life to the fullest. This podcast is sponsored by RedoxLongevity.com, where we'll discover what experts are calling the most amazing breakthrough in our lifetime that affects health, anti-aging, and sports performance. Learn more at RedoxLongevity.com. That's www.redoxlongevity.com. And now, here's our host, Fred Herbert. Welcome, fellow travelers, on this road to longevity. In this podcast, we'll cover some high-level views of the basic concepts we must practice to live longer, healthier, and more active lives. As we go through these core concepts, ask yourself, where are you and how do you feel about each of these? Here we go. Core concept number one, I am responsible. We have to accept full responsibility for our current and future health. Where are you right now in your physical and mental health? When we realize we must accept full responsibility for where we are now, then we can make the necessary changes to improve our future. Once we realize we're in the driver's seats and not a victim of our circumstances, we feel empowered and ready to make the necessary changes. Sure, there are forces that we have to deal with like family, friends, society, doctors, so-called experts, and our own temptations, but we can't blame them. That gives all the power to them and not to ourselves. My wife Tracy had a moment like that in her life. At the age of 17, she was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes, now called type 1 diabetes. If you're not familiar with the different types, type 1 is an autoimmune disease that you can't prevent or cure, while type 2 is the kind that most people are getting now and is considered to be 95% lifestyle-related. Well, after months of living in fear and desperation, she said to herself, Tracy, you can be bitter or better. What are you going to choose? Well, she chose better and has now lived with this disease for over 40 years. She's a health and diabetes advocate, and at the age of 57 completed a solo 3,527-mile bicycle ride across the United States to spread awareness and hope. She took responsibility for her health and outlived her life expectancy by over 20 years. When you decide that you're responsible, your life will change. Core concept number two, age is just a number. The Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. This is so true. If you think you're old, you're right. You will look, act, and feel old. Stop and think for a second. Isn't that true? Remember the couple I mentioned last week who hiked to the bottom of the Grand Canyon twice a year at the age of 84 and 86? This couple didn't let age stop them from an active life. And neither should we. We all have expectations of what comes with age. We can change our view by seeing what is possible. How about Charles Ookster, who smashed the sprint records at the age of 96? Or the 100-year-old yoga teacher, Tao Porshan Lynch, who says, I quote, age can never hope to win while your heart is young, end quote. Dorian, or nicknamed Doc Pasquatsitz, who was still surfing every day at the age of 90. Like our friends at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, find good role models and realize we can have an active life into our 90s and beyond. Core concept number three, have a future focus. We must first start with our big why, along with your goals and dreams for the future. What's your why for living a longer, healthier, and active life? If you don't have a compelling why, you won't make the daily decisions required to accomplish it. Small daily changes add up to big results over time. Adolf Zucker, who was the founder of Paramount Pictures, said as he approached his 100th birthday, quote, 
If I'd known how old I was going to be, I'd have taken better care of myself, end quote. Now that's funny, but so true. How many people are living out their final decades with diminished physical and mental capacity that wish they had done things differently regarding their health choices? We're not going to let that be us. That's what this podcast is all about, helping you and me get the most out of life. Core concept number four, health starts at the cellular level. Scientists say our bodies are made up of 75 trillion cells. These cells constantly die and replace themselves. Most disease is when our cells are damaged in some way or another. The focus on eating healthy is all about giving our cells the building blocks they need to either repair or rebuild healthy cells. In future podcasts, we'll talk much more about this process and how we can improve our cells' ability to communicate, repair, and replace. Everything we consume can have an impact on our health and our cells. Aging is all about keeping our cells healthy and winning the battle against oxidative stress. Another subject for another time. Core concept number five, education must be our priority. Information and education will help us make the right choices when it comes to health and longevity. That's what this podcast is all about, giving you the information that will help you as you pursue your goal of living a longer and healthier life. Health information is constantly changing. Look how many years it took to debunk the myth that fat was bad and causing heart disease. Now we know the low-fat revolution only made us fatter and unhealthier as a nation. The mainstream health system is not always the best place for us to get our education. In this podcast, I'll bring you the latest scientific research and information to help you decipher fact from fiction. Core concept number six, take action. Sure, in this day and age, we have lots of head knowledge about how to be healthy But when we fail to put it into practice, we really are no better off. We know what we should be doing, so why aren't we doing it? The trick is taking action on what we already know. There are a few things that we aren't aware of right now that can help us with longevity. That's the gap I'll fill in with this podcast. But having said that, if we would only act on what we know, we'll be way ahead of the curve. Most of this is common sense. But why is it so difficult to follow? Let's be willing to take action now on what we already know, and let's do what is best for our long-term health and vitality. Core concept number seven, my doctor doesn't always know best. Doctors are great people and they want to help. They're locked in a system that's focused on fixing symptoms and not getting to the root cause. I've heard it said, And I believe it's true that today doctors get the majority of their training from the pharmaceutical industry. By the time a doctor leaves medical school, their training is already outdated, and the nice pharmaceutical companies are right there to help with the latest medicine to fix all of our problems. And it's not all the doctor's fault either. Too many of us just want the doctor to give us a pill to fix the problem. When the doctor dares tell us to quit smoking, drink less alcohol, eat better, eat less and get out and exercise more, we're appalled. Doc, you don't understand. It's just too hard. When their patients don't take care of themselves, what's the doctor to do? He has to treat the symptoms. Our healthcare system is upside down. Let's put more energy in preventing disease instead of treating the disease when it shows its ugly head. Core concept number eight. If at all possible, start with natural approaches. It's not all the pharmaceutical industry's fault either. We live in a quick-fix world where people want to take the easy road. Doctor says, Joe, you need to cut back on sugar and salt. And Joe says, can't you just give me a pill for that? Let me give you an example. I know a lady who went to the doctor and her blood pressure had creeped up, so the doctor wanted to write her a prescription. She asked the doctor to give her a month to look for more natural alternatives to get her blood pressure down. She researched and found that unfiltered beet juice could be effective, and she started drinking it daily. Next time she went to the doctor, the doctor was shocked that it was now in range. She proceeded to tell the doctor the story of drinking beet juice. And the doctor had never heard of it before and immediately went to her computer and found all the supporting scientific research. To the doctor's credit, she said she would start telling her patients to try that first. Remember core concept number one, we're the ones responsible. Let's try to find a natural approach. 
And core concept number nine, prevention can add years to our life. As we reduce the risk of developing diseases like cancer, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's, and so many others, it adds years to our life. Part of the Longevity Code's mission is to help us live longer through the simple step of prevention. In future podcasts, we'll dig deeper into each of these core concepts. And remember, longevity is about adding quality to our quantity. And until next week, remember, longevity is about adding quality to our quantity. Thanks for listening to Longevity Codes. For more information, go to longevitycodes.com. To learn more about our sponsor, check out redoxlongevity.com. Tune in to next week's podcast, where you'll learn more strategies on living a longer, healthier, and more active life.